Hey everybody, it's Stacy here with Pitch Deck Fire and another one of our pitch hacks of the week. I'm super excited you guys are here and uh, ready to find out more about how to pitch and how to make your company shine in your next pitch. So if you haven't been with us before, what we do is we provide tips and tricks on pitching, pitch decks, investor decks, sales decks, live presentations, that kind of thing. So if you are a startup founder looking for funding or an established company looking for new customers, Maybe you're pitching a pitch competition coming up. You might even be an employee at a company pitching for like an incubator program. All of you can find value in what we do here with Pitch Hacks. So let's just jump right into it. What's our Pitch Hack of the week? All right, Pitch Hack of this week is, how do I get free stock photos? Free stock photos. This is something everybody needs. You guys have all come here to find out about pitching and putting it into the pitch decks. I hope you put images in your pitch. You really, really want to put images in your pitch. So I'm going to start off by explaining why we need photos, what stock photos are, and then how to find the free ones. So why do we need photos for a pitch? When we're pitching and putting together a deck or a, a document, essentially, it's going to either be behind us when we're pitching, or maybe we send it as like a visual document to, um, you know, a potential customer or potential investor. That document is going to be telling our story, and pictures speak a thousand words. So finding really good images is better than loading a deck full of text. We want to find really good images that really convey what our company is. Um, we can use them in a lot of different ways in our deck, but it's really important to, to add images into your into your pitch. It makes things more tangible. I mean, we see the world like pictures or basically video, um, but we see the world in, in pictures. And so when we're putting together a deck, it's really good to have images on that deck. It makes it feel more real and more tangible. So how do we find good pictures? We could take our own pictures. We could find pictures online. We can find pictures um, on stock photo sites and we can find free stock photo pictures. So what's a stock photo? A stock photo is a place where photographers have made, have taken pictures and they've put them on the stock photo site uh, to be able to sell them to people to use them. So you basically have a license to use that picture. Usually it's a license for a certain kind of usage, so make sure you double check those licenses. But when you go and purchase a stock photo, it allows you to use that photo and not have to pay royalties to the photographer who took that photo. Otherwise, you would have to pay royalties to them. So that's what a stock photo is. It's a way to get a picture that you didn't take, but you're allowed to use it. And not all pictures are free for you to use. So if you just go to Google and you start looking for pictures, you can't use those. It's not good. So especially when you're putting together a presentation, this is a, a document that you're using for your business, for the profit of your business and for your own profit. And so you can't use a photo that you just found that somebody took. Um, you can't even use it with like, citing them on the photo because they may or may not have like license rules on whether they're allowed to get royalties on the use of that image. So pay really close attention to that. Now there's a lot of stock photos out there and they're not too expensive. So if you were looking for stock photos that you can purchase, there's some good sites for that. Usually they're around $10 a photo. You might also have a subscription. So if you have a subscription to something like um, Adobe Stock Photo, which is what we use here at Pitch Deck Fire for our clients. When we use photos, we have a subscription, so we get a certain number of photos per month that we can use. And so it reduces the amount per photo. But in general, if you're going to go buy them one off, they tend to be around $10. Let's say like a Shutterstock or one of those places, they, they have them um, for around $10. Now you might find really expensive ones out there as well. So like Getty Images, they have really expensive ones too. So they're somewhat better sometimes, the more expensive ones. And even Adobe Stock has like premium photos that are like $500 or something like that. Um, Getty images can get really up there, especially if it's like a very topical photo or like um, something in the news, right? Those kinds of photos can get kind of expensive. If you don't want to spend money on stock photos, how do we get free ones? One of my favorite stock photo site places to get free stock photos is Unsplash. That's U-N and then the word splash, right? Unsplash.com. And they're great. Uh, they're really, really interesting photos. They tend to be a little bit more on like the hipster side, I would say. So like if you're looking for like very solid, businessy, clean cut, you'll have less options on Unsplash, although you might have some. If you're looking for like great pictures of, you know, coffee shops and 
you know, mountains and um, people in a bustling city, you know, like in a market or something like that, right? Those are those are photos I've seen on on uh, Unsplash that are that are really good. And there's a ton of options on Unsplash, so it's really easy to go on there and search for what you're looking for. Another good free site is um, Pexels. That's that's one that has some some free options on there as well. If you wanted to find uh, free photos and you can't find what you're looking for on Unsplash, there's one other place you can look, which is Google, but you have to make sure you put the settings right. So on Google, when you do a normal Google search, not all of those photos are usable. In fact, most of them probably aren't. They're all licensed photos. They might be on stock photo sites, they might be on people's sites, and you're able to see them. So the person who's posted it on their site, they have the license, not you. So you can't just save that photo and use it. Although a lot of people do, don't do it. It's not legal. Um, what you can do though, when you're on Google, is you can go to usage rights. So there's a little button that's like more tools and then usage rights. And if you mark usage rights to available for reuse, then you can find images that are actually available for reuse. I would still double check the licenses where you can because you just never know and you want to be careful there. But you can at least find in the search in Google some free options. They're pretty limited, I would say. It's, it's not the best option. You really would rather go to like a stock photo site like Unsplash to get free photos. So hopefully that answers your question on how to find free photos for your pitch deck. Definitely want to use photography, and there are a couple places you can go find those free photos. Again, one of my favorites is Unsplash. If you're looking for paid photos, stock.adobe.com is one of my favorites, but you do have to have a subscription. Thanks for joining us for our pitch hack of the week today. I hope you found it valuable. If you have other places that you've used photos from for free stock photos, I would love for you to add some links down in the bottom for people to be able to find. If you have other thoughts on where to find stock photos or why to use paid versus free photos, would love to hear your comments below. If you have another idea for a pitch hack, definitely let us know. We have a link down below as well. We'd love to hear all of your ideas, questions. We want to make this pitch hack something where we're able to hear what you guys have to say and we can answer those questions here in this forum. So definitely let us know when you have an idea for a new pitch hack. We'd love to see them. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. We put out new pitch hacks every week and I hope to see you here again soon. Happy pitching! Mm -hmm.